everybody. It's Evie from GhostCoatMag.com here with the great Tommy Victor of Prong at Aftershock Sacramento. How are you doing, bro? Good, man. I'm glad uh, Melissa came down at Debonair. That was a cool thing. Oh, she yes. took some nice shots of us. Optic Monkey Images, Melissa Style. Shout yeah. out. She did a great job. We're going to get that coverage up very soon. Probably yeah. before this interview. Thank you, bro. Uh, Joe helping out with the lighting. Uh, hey, Joe. We're just, we're just... Stick to sound, bro. Just, uh, yeah, we're just yeah, something you know about a bunch about from your past. Uh, I was love telling that story about how uh, we met when you were working sound at CBS and I had a burgeoning band that was trying to be like a baby helmet or prom and rather not successful. But here I am today doing this. Uh, but yeah, man, awesome to have you here. You played prom earlier, playing with dancing tomorrow. Uh, what's it like? Uh, not a lot of American festival work for prom unless it's like Maryland Death I know. We haven't really. The Maryland Death Fest was a really good show. It was great. Actually. That was insane. And like I, I told Joe, I said we played Maryland Death. I go, what are you guys playing that for? I was like we, they, we headlined and it was, it was smoking good. Like people were going crazy. Yeah. That was the, that was like the Mosher stage dive stage. That was Baltimore insane. Stage, right? Yeah, it went crazy. Yeah. I was like, yeah. I think yeah. it was you guys, Helmet, yeah, Pig Destroyer, back exactly. to back, back, and it was mind blowing. Yes. So that was a really good night. But um, uh, what was the question again? No, oh, we have like a. No, we never get friends. I mean, like, we're not on like a we're on a European label, and like we're like no one knows what prom really is. So we get like you know like, we get passed over a lot. You know, like that's really um, the, the story of our lives on this whole thing. So yeah, we haven't done that. This is I mean we're we were very excited about this thing. And I think it was great. I mean, I, hopefully they have us back. I think they would. And Danny Wimmer festivals, these are all great. We've covered a bunch of them in the past with those folks and super excited for Danzig. I wasn't sure I was going to get to see this tour. Uh, are we getting a greatest hits Danzig set tomorrow? Are we still yes. doing Danzig 2? No, 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 Danzig 2 is a specialty show or sh group of shows. So, uh, but this is a greatest hits live. Awesome. All right. We'll take, we'll take the Danzig. Yes. Yeah. And, you know, he also is very selective about touring and oh, an occasional yes. misfits thing, but Danzig is, you know, it's a yep. tough gig. Not I, a I, I, tour. Yeah, why? Well, it's tough for me because it's like, oh, I'm gonna do a couple of shows. So I gotta relearn everything because I forget songs. I gotta go. Oh, I gotta try to figure out the John Christ solos again. And then uh, you know, there's one show and it's like, goodbye. And it's like six months later. Oh, I'm gonna do a show. I gotta go relearn everything and get my chops back up and get all my e-tuned guitars back and like you know, e-tunings and. You need like a completely separate. Here yes, I do. Yeah. Music. Yeah. It's a different animal, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah. Uh, all the pedal board tweaking will be tonight. And guitar. Yeah, I mean, I have different. I, I, I yeah, it's. I, I got that down already, so I, I don't have to worry about. It. It's a whole different arsenal of guitars for dancing. So yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, man, we look forward to. You always do justice to dancing stuff. I try. Really it's like hard. His longest running person. Yeah. Of the last decade or more. You're the the mainstay now. Yeah. Uh, I know Steve is still hanging out. I love Steve. Yeah, so Steve's great. Shout out to Steve. I love. And uh, yeah, man. One thing I wanted to talk to you about, specific to this festival, is I don't know if you're familiar with it. I know you paint and do a lot of art. The last yeah. prom album cover. They have a really cool charity thing here, uh, punk rock and paintbrushes. Which I was wondering if you checked it out or if they had it. You know, I didn't have a time. I, they, I mean, they haven't approached me, and I haven't had enough time to go around and uh, look at them. So if you do hear from them, tell them. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, right now I have uh, at my tender age, I do have a two year old son and then uh, so uh, you know that's that's interfered with my artistic pursuits a bit but once eventually I'll get back into it again you know yeah, yeah, your work is fantastic oh, and thanks. I'm a fan and I know you we had talked in the past I would definitely like I, I was thinking about that today that I was going like I don't do enough like charitable things in my life like you know that, that I would be interested in that you know so uh, that's a good idea I'll put the bug in their ear when I talk yeah. to them later. Yeah, you got my email address. I so. do have your email address, and um, that's not a flex, that's just for business. <laughs> yeah. But um, I think we'd, we'd be good friends. I, I've always, you know, I'm a fan, but I'm, I'm a good I'm a good friend. I think people know me, my spirit. But uh, 
uh, anyway, it's not all about me all the time. No, sometimes. No, uh, but yeah, of course, you know, I'm, I'm so thrilled to have you back on the road with Rom. And I know the last time we talked was like pre-pandemic, so everything's out the window. But uh, you had said you were probably going to do like smaller releases, EP singles. I changed my mind on that. Like, albums. Yeah, no, like we, the next thing's going to be an album. We'll have a single out in probably January. Because the record's almost done. So, and then January we'll have a single out. We'll be touring in Europe over there with that Life of Agony. Oh, so good. So, uh, that single, and then the album will come out a little bit after that, whenever like the pressing plants can fit it in now. And then we'll probably do selective uh, uh, festivals in Europe, you know, after that. Oh, I imagine there'll be a lot of demand. Those shows will mostly sold out in Europe. Did Dog Eat Dog open some of those shows? Huh? Did Dog Eat Dog open some of those shows? Or did, are they coming I up? Thought, I no, thought no. They, were, they did like a run make it They do really well. I mean, they've been doing really well. So, uh, no. But, uh, yeah, we Jersey. had a band not too long ago. Jersey guys, man. Uh, you're, back on, you're back on the East Coast? Yeah, I live in Long Island. Oh, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Right, shout out to Long Island. Hey, Queens is. So I'm not, Queens is technically Long Island, but you know. Yeah, sort of. Yeah. I always thought it was like a weird, there's no delineation. It's not like the Bronx where I'm from. We're just like north of like the fucking the Bronx wall. is upstate New York. Yeah, basically. Uh, it's basically hell. But uh, I love my home. I love my home. I'm right from the Bronx too, baby. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I had uh, Some Cub back, Scout. Er, earlier today, while we were in the press tent, I, Tommy was looking around, and I didn't know if he was looking for me or somebody else, and I was just like, hey, yo! And you were like, what? Uh, signal goes out like the bat signal. Yeah, Let me does. tell you, New York, it never comes out of you. I live in California now. You move back yeah. to these. I moved out here. But literally, it never leaves you. No. Uh, it doesn't. Now with me, everyone's like, yeah, with LA, it's like, are you from New York? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, I heard that for 25 years. Right, right. I remember. So, so yeah, man, just as we wrap this up, again, great to see you. Yeah, man, thank you so much, bro. support what you do. And, yeah. and, you know, I just really appreciate your time. And Go help support. Yeah, thank you, man. It means a lot to me, and it means a lot to our fans. Thank yeah. you so much. Much, Tommy. Good luck. Yeah, man. Dancing. Thank Play you. Man. I'll see you tomorrow, though. I'll see you tomorrow.